Hey everybody, welcome to VW Life. Here we are, Matt Jackson. Oh, I'm gonna hug you, Matt Jackson. Oh, Come gosh. here, Willie. <laughs> Hi, Willie. Hey, so uh, we're heading down to San Antonio. Anybody going to San Antonio? It's the annual freeze and, si freeze and shine show down in San Antonio. But we got a little camping to do first, we don't do. we? We do. We're headed down to the Lost Woods Campground. This is a new experience. I found it on a thing called Hip Camp. Yeah, Hip Camp. It's a website Hip that lets you just find random camp spots that aren't like state or uh, city property. Yeah, and it looks pretty good. So we're going to give it a shot. They, they had a burn ban, but they lifted the, lifted the burn ban. So we're all excited about that. We have a campfire tonight. Looks like we'll have about eight Volkswagens. So uh, join Join us as we head south to the Freeze and Shine. It's a Freeze and Shine weekend. First, we're going to camp out and then Freeze and Shine show tomorrow. So stick with us. It should be a fun weekend. Let's go. Jackson, get over here. Life finds a way. Dinosaur eggs. Wow. R Velociraptors? These that would... definitely a Velociraptor eggs. We're out here in the back country. This is definitely Jurassic Park area. What's for dinner tonight? Pork chops? No. Poppers. Jalapeno poppers. I say we burn all this, save our wood. There you this, go. There's plenty of it. <laughs> Look at that. That's called dancing a jig. Look at that footwork, Matt Jackson. <laughs> All right, so uh, Gary, the campground you found us. Uh... <laughs> well, hey, Matt Jackson, now's your chance to finally go away from that vegetarian. I'm gonna get some bacon for you. Yeah, we got some real live bacon. Look at the size of that sucker. What's that, piglet? What is that, Willie? He's like, what the hell is that? That guy's got a big old nose. What is that, Willie? Really? thing and about the freeze and shine is it's the first show of the year and I've told people this and I've already shared it with people today it's like the best thing about these uh, it's like going to a high school reunion but it's all the people that you want to see at the high school reunion because you know you, you see all your buddies that you haven't seen since the last show which was like the harvest back in October so that's five six months away so here we are at freeze and shine and uh, in it's not Cibolo, it's Sibola or something like that. We've been <laughs> saying it wrong. It's uh, just a nice location and the cars are out and the weather's decent today. It's not not cold, not hot, not rainy, not icy, it's not, not, freezing. not freezing. And there's a lot of shiny cars here. Simple little swap and Philip and the guy here at San Antonio Air Coolers, you know, they, they, they actually like, they print off 65 shirts and like, come get a shirt for free. I mean, what a cool thing is that, you know? It's just a very low key, it's not a, there's no judging or anything like that. It's just a hangout. Like I said, it's it's a, it's the high school reunion with all the friends you want to see. Yeah, there's no trophies, there's no judging. No. It's just a, Hanging out, seeing everybody, you know? That's the best part. That's what that's what this is about. People, and you see people have been working on stuff over the winter. They kind of bring some stuff out. Where did all the bays go? <laughs> where did they, what happened to them? I don't, it's just weird. Cause where do we, we did the cruise, no bay windows. And here we are today at the freezing shine and there's only two and there's like 10, 12 split window buses. It's just, I don't know. Uh, 
Uh, here we are with Izzy. Hi, Izzy. Hey, Gary. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, Izzy, tell us a little about your uh, bay window bus we have here. I, uh, I've had it for couple of years now, four years, I guess. Oh, gosh. Is yes. it that long already? Yes, I bought it in 2018, actually. Your uh, 70 Bay Window. Yes. And uh, so uh, tell us the story. How did you acquire this? I found her on Craigslist, actually. And so I messaged the kid and I said, hey, can I just come up and test drive it? I've always loved buses. So I dr drive up there. I had to watch a YouTube video the night before to remember how to drive a standard. <laughs> they have those, huh? I know. <laughs> Hey, we had one. Did you watch our video on that? <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Well, so did you, it worked? Yes, did I didn't even stall out when I test drove it. And um, it was so sweet because the kid actually was like, you know, we had some other offers and, but we actually liked you the best. So, Aww. so we want you to take her if you can, you know, yeah. figure it out. Yes. So uh, who, who did that kid buy that bus from? Oh, Beauty. Yeah. From you. Yeah, that, that, uh, Crazy. So, yes, I know. So yeah, uh, at one time we had this bay window bus. It had, uh, it did not have the Westie top and it had the Westie interior, I yes. believe, right? Yes. You picked this up mm -hmm. and have uh, sort of transformed it. You got to tell us how to get the, the Westie top. I want to know a little bit about yeah, that. So just a story on that. I found it on Facebook actually. And I messaged the guy like right away and it was all the way up in Nashville. So I convinced some poor guy to drive me to Nashville in his truck to go get it yeah, and bring it, it straight back. Did you carry it in a pickup? <laughs> It Would it fit? Fits. In the back? It does fit, huh? It fits. So obviously, and, and this was a Westie to begin with, so it had the yeah. holes already for and, the hinges and everything. Yeah, and once we took the the headliner off, we either was even some hardware still left that was like, yes, yeah, this was perfect. for sure. Yeah. But now you can stand up to put your pants on. Yes. Yay! The That's small a, joys in life. It is. Yeah. What's well, great? Now does uh, does this bus have a name? Her name is Stevie the Marvelous Carriage. Okay. Could you say that again? Stevie. Stevie. You can call I, her as Stevie. in Stevie Nicks. Sure. Okay, Stevie. Yeah, Stevie. Stevie the Marvelous. The marvelous carriage. carriage. All right, and let's segue into that. Ta -da -ta. Yes. So Princess Zoe and her marvelous carriage, and then I have Princess Hallie and the intergalactic marvelous carriage. What do we have here? This is what you do, right? Yes. So, so these are my two children's books that, and I did the illustrations as well. Mm -hmm. um, one for each niece. So I have Zoe and Hallie as my nieces, each written for kind of what they, you know, were going through. Zoe was getting picked on at school. She was just seven years old. So I wrote a little children's book. So this one's about bullying. And then Hallie loves to fib and kind of, you know, shady with the truth. So this one's about <laughs> how to tell the truth. Is this your first foray into children's mm -hmm. books? It was. When you bought Stevie, did that kind of say, hey, did it segue? Did you buy it thinking you were going to do children's books or did it kind of like just happen? It kind of just happened. You know, it began with with Zoe having some troubles at school and then it's like well, I can write a children's book you know pff, this is no big deal right pff, oh my gosh it's so much work <laughs> to do the illustrations too right. I had been just goofing around I made like Christmas cards and I did like watercolor and and that sort of stuff featuring you know kind of my bus and I was like oh well let's just put this all together so and voila yeah so so Stevie the marvelous, marvelous carriage, carriage is an integral character in your books. Yes. Aha. Yes, she flies. They do all kinds of adventures. Awesome. Yeah. Now, do you, uh, so now how if somebody wanted to purchase one of these, do they what's it go they go do they don't go to Barnes Does they have Barnes and Noble anymore? You can get them on Amazon. Amazon. You can also go to the marvelouscarriage.com and you can get a signed copy from me. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, that is fantastic. Well, yeah. Stevie is a cool bay window, 70 bay. I love, uh, what a great year for bay window buses and and I love that you did you, that you brought it back with a top. Yes. That's really Really cool. <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you so much, Izzy, yes, for joining us today and sharing us with your your uh, marvelous carriage and Stevie the bus. And it's just it's so cool that you know. I mean, I see this I'm like, hey, I, I don't remember that much about this bus. <laughs> I, I guess you know. I don't think we, there's a. I don't think we did a story on it, did we? This was right before pre VW pre VW Live. Life. Thank you. Yes, very of much. Thank it's you. great to see, thank you for sharing your story yeah, and everything and for the you. children's books and uh, they're on Amazon and uh, yes. so. And go to their website and you get a one that's signed. So thanks everybody for joining us and Izzy and Stevie. Yay! Y'all know Clayton, we talked to him before. Hey. And with the million mile Herbie, so we're just asking silly questions. You have probably twenty something thousand miles of stuff coming up. Yeah. But what oil do you run? I actually run Delvac 1540 diesel oil, non-synthetic. <laughs> and, the, and the, the reason I don't do synthetic is because, well, yeah. you know, the, the old air, as you yeah. all know, the no. old air cool VWs, they, they breathe 
through the you know the crank and everything and it's more of a dust catcher too it's not just keeping your oil from getting too hot you need to change it often right yeah well and that's I, the cooling and system. I, I change it i sometimes change it before 3000 but i try to yeah at least 3000 yeah i'm pretty but i'm, what, I'm a faithful oil changer <laughs> what about uh so we're in, in fuel you run you, we were you know talking and about... I, I know a lot of people think it's a waste of money and, and, and it may be uh but i actually burn premium gas yeah I, I pour some money down my gas tank but but i've had i, I i'm never really stranded and I do 50000 a year. Went through the Mojave Desert this past summer and Vegas and going to Florida and Illinois. and uh, Electronic ignition or points? It does have electronic ignition. Okay. So yeah. there's a Petronix igniter set up? You know, th- th- <laughs> this is actually this, the, the engine and computer out of a Mexican Beetle. Right. We, we, we clipped the harness and it was done more. I didn't really necessarily want to do it, but a friend of mine said, wouldn't it be cool if you could say, hey, that is still technically factory. It's just a factory from a the, the last model 2004 Mexican Beetle. We just moved it over to a 63. And I said, you know, someday I actually want to go back to, to bone stock. Right. But you know what? But the, it, think about that. If you needed, you went to go get service down in Mexico and like, oh, I need a new motor. That's what they would have put they, in. They can plug into the little that's computer what, and everything. So, so it does have hydraulic lifters it does have electronic ignition that's advanced by the computer Mm -hmm. it's a 2004 setup and i have 182,000 miles on the factory engine and i've never had anything internally go wrong i've had like a replace an oxygen sensor or a head temperature sensor Mm -hmm. but uh as far as like valve train or anything it's 182,000 and i'm about to do all these trips on that engine did a compression check everything's still right on the dot so. so it's fuel injected it's fuel injected. Yes. Now, here's a, yeah. does it have an alternator or is it a generator on those? It's an alternator. Okay. Uh, I've had to replace the alternator one time. Okay. And yeah. what about brakes? I still run uh, stock still stock brakes. drum brakes. How often yeah. do you? I mean, you. You know, I I don't know if it's because I, I I'm not really an aggressive breaker. It's a big thing. Uh, and I keep my brakes adjusted. Yeah, I just run stock brakes. Okay. <laughs> I had I get over a hundred thousand on pads. Yeah. I, just for reference, this is the million mile of Herbie. It's got over a million. million. He's gonna fifty-eight thousand. Yeah. yeah, he's about to put another twenty, thirty thousand on it this year alone. So yeah. he's uh, headed down to the beach. Yeah, it's been a fun day. It's been a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. You know. I think there was about 50 cars here, and we got we got to talk to some people, and like yes. you said, uh, see old friends. We got to talk to Izzy and uh, see Stevie, the marvelous carriage. And thanks to some... Phillips uh, and the Aust- and the San Antonio Air Coolers. For yes, putting this on. San Antonio Air Coolers always do such a fun 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 job with the freeze and shine. It's the first show of the year, so it's always a good way to get the things kicked off. And so we're gonna pack up here and make trails north. Let's do it. All right. I want some cheese fries. You'll get nothing and like it. Now here's the new one. Spicy and the Ooh, old. it's spicy. Ooh, it's spicy. Yeah, it's got a kick. All right, let me have one. <laughs> hey! Well, guess what? We accomplished lunch. We accomplished lunch, and we want to thank you guys for joining us at the uh, Freeze and Shine this weekend in San Antonio, Texas. Yes, it's been a great what a fun weekend. We did some camping at the Lost Woods Campground. Oh, it was beautiful. Oh, it was so beautiful. And then we stopped in Cibolo, Texas and had a good old time with 50 of our favorite Volkswagens. Yes, thanks uh, again to the San Antonio Air Coolers VW Gang for putting on such a great show. Yep. And uh, we're going to make trails northbound on 35. So yes, thank sir. you guys for joining us today. Please make sure you tell your aunts, tell your uncles, tell everybody you know about VW Life. This is what it's all about. Oh, go out, uh, go camping, go to make a show. Look, here, this is what their show was for. There was free and you got a free shirt. Yeah, it was that was how easy it is. So just just put something together, find a parking lot that somebody who's friendly with it. They, this was a son-in-law, soon to be son-in-law's parking lot of his business, and there you have it. That's all you gotta do. Thanks That's guys. It. Bye everybody. One minute 37 seconds later. About a mile down the road, Charlie broke down. His accelerator cable actually broke no, at the base. No, the, the pedal. The pedal. The pedal broke off. So it had two rivets. It had two rivets. Yeah, Charlie would probably be better than ever. Yeah. Then. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had a couple of, of cheese, those heads. cheese heads that we put the engine tins on, and they fit in the holes. Yeah, it's perfect. So I had those in my spares, and now he is good to go. Good to go. And I found out what a cheese head is. <laughs> I thought it was a guy from Green Bay. <laughs> 